Today's video shout out goes to Pie Guy Rules. Although you can already consider him a big channel, I was jaw dropped when I surpassed him in subscribers originally over the summer. And since then, my subscriber count has doubled his, yet I still feel like he's leagues above me. He's one of the main inspirations for this channel. A significant driving force. He may not be a Steamers heavy YouTuber, although he does have a lot of Steamers videos. He makes great commentary videos on The Simpsons, Spongebob, the latest cartoons, Dan Snyder shows, you name it. And he's definitely worth a watch if you want an intelligent, deep discussion about your favorite show. So please, go drop a like, comment below, say Vox sent you, and without further ado, let's get down to the video. Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox. So to avoid the somewhat justified fears that America is going to end right now, I decided to sit my ass down and get in front of the computer and start recording a theory. Well, this isn't really a theory, but more of a more detailed look inside Gemsy Stabilizers. That ties into one of my future theories. And this one is all about the gem destabilizers. We haven't really seen them since the episode Jailbreak, and rightfully, a lot of people probably doubt that they'll ever come back again. But they play a role in the story. I believe gem destabilizers are harvested pearls. But that's for another video. In the episode Jailbreak and The Return, gem destabilizers were used to destroy the forms of gems. In this case, Garnet. Private Gem the Stabilizer! But we also saw that Steven was immune to them. Ah! Now luckily we have some more in-depth clarification on Gem the Stabilizer thanks to Matt Burnett. Even though these tweets are not deleted, there are still screen caps on them through Tumblr and other websites. A fan asks, Gem the Stabilizer are made of breakup fusions, right? And Burnett replies, yeah. Think of fusion like the mushroom power up from Mario. You get hit big, you survive, just shrink. If a fusion gets hard enough, it will break apart, but the gems that made it still have their forms. The gem that stabilizer prevents that from happening. It would take out a single gem too. The force fields on the gel cells in the hand ship use the same energy as the destabilizers. So from that we know that since the war, Homeworld developed gem destabilizers to take out fusions. I imagine the crystal gems, led by Rose during the war, use fusions a lot more than they do now. It may have been sparked by Garnet, but Rose soon used it and adapted it into a common war tactic. So Homeworld had to adapt, and the gem destabilizers were made. Not just in case they ever had to face the crystal gems again, but in case any gems on Homeworld tried to fuse with a different gem. It'd be an effective way to shut it down right then and there, and send a message to any other gems. Cross gem fusions are not allowed. That being said, if the weapon was designed for the intention of taking down fusions, but could also take out a single gem, yet Steven is immune to it, what would happen to a fusion like Smoky Quartz, which is a quarter human and three fourths gem? Would Steven poof? Would Amethyst poof? Would the gem even be affected? Well, there's an answer for it. Kind of. Joe Johnson, a huge member of the Crewniverse, actually answered this on his Tumblr. Someone asked, if a gem destabilizer were to have been used on, say, Smoky Quartz, would this poof but Steven resist it? And he answers, whoa, fun question. I'm not sure, but I think Smoky would be resistant due to Steven's immunities. It might destabilize them into diffusing, but not enough for Amethyst to poof. So what can we make from this is, depending on the strength of the destabilizer, it would cause them to unfuse, but Amethyst wouldn't poof. However, Smoky, for the most part, might just be uh, unaffected by it. Even the tiniest of immunity might be enough in fight past the gem stabilizer. While that's something we have not seen in the show yet and we may not see, I would actually really love to see that. Just imagine the gems on Homeworld and Steven fused with Smokey or even Garnet or Pearl or whoever and just being immune to gem stabilizers and mowing their way through enemies. Steven's immunities to gem weapons really fascinates me, and it's something I hope the show explores more down the road. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little trivia, and like I said, I'm definitely going to make a theory on how why I think a gem destabilizer could be Harvested Pearls. But until that video, please like and subscribe this one if you enjoyed it, comment your thoughts down below, and Ostrich Vox, signing out!